Today's technology evolves with almost incomprehensible speed. Ever new, ever exciting, with endlessly fascinating stories to explore. Thus the birth of overexposure. This is the professional's den here at Helix. We're talking serious photography and serious filmmaking. So I'm thoroughly impressed and overwhelmed about everything that's here in the Pro Digital department. I'm here talking to Roth Moy, who is the Pro Digital Manager. Roth, please tell us, like, what is this room? What is everything that's in here? Well, basically, uh, traditional photographers that uh, shot film, uh, that shot medium format House of Blods, uh, shot 4x5 view cameras or 8x10. Uh, when you have clients that have the resolution requirements, of that particular film format now shoot with medium format digital because we can uh, shoot with um, cameras that have chips that are 39 to 60 megapixels which allow us to make um, virtually grainless prints up to uh, 40 feet. Well, when you first enter this department you come through our lighting department 50 percent of all professional photography is based on how you light and how you use lighting. And the advantages we have with digital is one, we don't have grain, where we did with film. We also have a much broader dynamic range in terms of uh, the amount of uh, light that's actually captured on the image itself. And then the next advantage we have is that we have the ability to preview through our laptops or through our desktop units that are on location and actually have electronic proofs that we can actually see what we've captured. So Roth, please tell us about the uh, lines that you carry here at the Pro Digital Department and uh, their capabilities. There's two major lines that we carry here. Uh, one is made by Mamiya, which is bundled with a Leaf Digital back, and we also carry Hasselblad here. The advantages we have with the um, medium format digital cameras as opposed to the DSLR cameras is that the medium format digital cameras use CCD technology as the sensor base as opposed to the DSLRs which use a CMOS based uh, sensor technology. The advantages of CMOS of course are it's more economical to produce and it's more energy efficient. However when quality is an issue uh, when you're trying to duplicate the results that we used to get with medium format film cameras, 4x5 and 8x10, CCD chip cameras have a major advantage in terms of dynamic range, in terms of shadow detail, and in terms of highlight detail. The professional photographers that I see coming in at this level of professional photography have clients that demand the quality and are willing to pay the price for the images. Uh, a typical Hasselblad system, uh, an H4D camera, 39 megapixel, uh, starts at about $20,000, which gives you an 80 millimeter lens, a body, and a digital back. They have lenses that range from 28 millimeter all the way to 300, and lenses range in price between about $3,000 to $5,000 each, depending on the focal length and whether they're prime lens or zoom lenses. But one of the advantages we have with the Hasselblad lenses is the fact that they're very high resolution, even more so than the older Hasselblad V-series camera lenses or any of the DSLR camera lenses. And the reason they have to be high resolution is because we now can see every lens defect off of these CCD chipped images because the quality of the chip surpasses that of film. So have there been any major difficulties or issues for photographers transitioning from film to digital? We had some photographers that entered this uh, realm not being able to turn on their computer and then others that were completely computer literate. Fortunately for the photographers that were computer literate, transitioning from film to digital was a breeze for them. Basically the cameras were their film, film cameras with digital backs put on them and by doing that they were able to easily transition to digital. Now the photographers that were neophytes in terms of handling computer equipment had to have a little more hand holding but quite honestly the transition was very smooth and within two or three days we can easily convert a film photographer to a digital photographer and who can perform at the same level they did with film. So there you have it, the ever-expanding world of digital photography, right here at Helix, camera and video. 
I'm Jeff Baraka for Overexposure TV and Watch 312.